Hello everyone, welcome to St. George's Anglican Church in Halliburton. I'm going to read to you now the Bible readings for this coming Sunday, which will be September the 24th, 2023, and this is proper 25 in year A of our cycle of readings. A reading from Exodus, chapter 21, verses 2 to 15. In the desert, the whole community grumbled against Moses and Aaron. The Israelites said to them, If only we had died by the hand of the Most High in Egypt. There we sat around pots of meat and ate all the food we wanted. But you've brought us out into this desert to starve this entire assembly to death. Then the Most High said to Moses, I will rain down bread from heaven for you. The people are to go out each day and gather enough for the day. In this way, I will test them and see whether they will follow my instructions. On the sixth day, they are to prepare what they bring in, and that is to be twice as much as they gather on the other days. So Moses and Aaron said to all the Israelites, In the evening you will know that it was the Most High who brought you out of Egypt, and in the morning you will see the glory of the Most High, because God has heard your grumbling against the Most High. Who are we that you should grumble against us? Moses also said, You will know that it was the Most High when God gives you meat to eat in the evening and all the bread you want in the morning, because God has heard your grumbling against the Most High. Who are we? You're not grumbling against us, but against the Most High. Then Moses told Aaron, Say to the entire Israelite community, Come before the Most High, for God has heard your grumbling. While Aaron was speaking to the whole Israelite community, they looked toward the desert, and there was the glory of the Most High appearing in the cloud. The Most High said to Moses, I have heard the grumbling of the Israelites. Tell them, at twilight you will eat meat, and in the morning you will be filled with bread. Then you will know that I am the Most High, your God. That evening, quail came and covered the camp, and in the morning there was a layer of dew around the camp. When the dew was gone, thin flakes like frost on the ground appeared on the desert floor. When the Israelites saw it, they said to each other, What is it? For they did not know what it was. Moses said to them, It is the bread the Most High has given you to eat. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from Paul's letter to the Philippians. Chapter 1, verses 21 to 30. To me, to live is Christ, and to die is gain. If I am to go on living in the body, this will mean fruitful labor for me. Yet, what shall I choose? I do not know. I am torn between the two. I desire to depart and be with Christ, which is better by far. But it is more necessary for you that I remain in the body. Convinced of this, I know that I will remain, and I will continue with all of you for your progress and joy in the faith, so that through my being with you again, your joy in Christ Jesus will overflow on account of me. Whatever happens, conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. Then, whether I come and see you, or only hear about you in my absence, I will know that you stand firm in one spirit, contending together as one for the faith of the gospel, without being frightened in any way by those who oppose you. This is a sign to them that they will be destroyed, but that you will be saved, and that by God. For it has been granted to you on behalf of Christ not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for him, since you are going through the same struggle you saw I had, and now hear that I 
still have. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Reading chapter 20, verses 1 to 16. Jesus said, The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire laborers to work in his vineyard. He agreed to pay them a denarius for the day and sent them into his vineyard. About the third hour, he went out and saw others standing in the marketplace doing nothing. He told them, you also go and work in my vineyard and I will pay you whatever is right. So they went. He went out again about the sixth hour and the ninth hour and did the same thing. About the eleventh hour, he went out and found still others standing around. He asked them, why have you been standing here all day long doing nothing? Because no one has hired us, they answered. He said to them, you also go and work in my vineyard. When evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his steward, Call the workers and pay them their wages, beginning with the last ones hired and going on to the first. The workers who were hired about the eleventh hour came and each received a denarius. So when those came who were hired first, they expected to receive more. But each of them also received a denarius. When they received it, they began to grumble against the landowner. Those who were hired last worked only one hour, they said, and you have made them equal to us who have borne the burden of the work and the heat of the day. But he answered them, friend, I'm not being unfair to you. Didn't you agree to work for a denarius? Take your pay and go. I want to give the one who was hired last the same as I gave you. Don't I have the right to do what I want with my own money? Or are you envious because I am generous? So the last will be first, and the first will be last. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, I look forward to Sunday. We'll see what the, the Spirit tells us to say about those readings on Sunday. Join us in St. George's, either in person or online. We hope to see you then. Our Sunday morning service starts with music at about quarter after 10, and the service begins at 10.30. Bye for now.